We had native comedians come up with these hilarious memes. And it's been a great way also with the phone and text banking to start conversations with people. Um, about voting. Um, and so what is the I hilarious meme? I, I, there's something about flipping fry bread. What else can we flip? Right. You know, and <laughs> if you know, it just. Welcome to She the People with Amy Allison, the home for women of color who are leading America into a new era in collaboration with Design Observer. And I'm your host, Amy Allison. I saw both, you know, um, both campaigns announced that they only hired lead native organizers within the last four weeks. Why is that? Why do you think? I mean, because I, can't. I think it's well, our research always tells us the same thing. It's like, oh, it's we just were not present in people's minds. And to me, that's crazy because when you go back and look at the results in 2020, you know, Arizona was won by 10,000 votes. If you go in and just look at Arizona and you look at our native population and like that's why we have our list is like 250,000 native people that we are trying to get a hold of in Arizona. Like you start to look at with those margins or you go in and look at the margins in 2020 in places that were also key in Wisconsin and Nevada, Native Vote had something there to play. And I just, again, it's that inherent implicit bias that begins to happen that because we're still not as visible as I, you know, I want us to be and that we should be, right? People can still keep taking this for granted. Let's begin here. We do yes. not take Native women's leadership for granted. We don't take Native Vote for granted, the communities and the issues. Subscribe to She the People with Amy Allison on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcast app. Follow us at underscore She the People at Instagram and Facebook and at Design Observer on Instagram, LinkedIn, and YouTube.